Hello, my minions. This is Smitty Smith. Thanks for tuning in to a uh, commentary of Black Ops. Today, uh, I'm actually flipping it up a little bit. I'm playing a free-for-all game, and I'm using a silent spaz, which is not a gun that I've used very often. Um, I I'm obviously showing this to you because I win, and I do fairly well. Uh, this was in a lobby on the Double XP weekend. And uh, I was in with a bunch of people that uh, everyone was, was talking, everyone was having a good time, there was some respectable chatter, and uh, we decided that a few of us were going to try shotguns, so that's what we did, not everybody does, um, but uh, I figured, hey, why, why the hell not, you know, if, if I'm going to lose, I might as well lose to guys that are pretty damn cool, and that was the, these guys here, so so that's what I'm doing, uh, you'll see I'm running, um, I think, Counter Spy Plane, Napalm, and SR-71, I believe, and you'll see here is an amazing fail, a bunch of shots, a couple of missed uh, knife, knife stabs, and uh, I end up dying. Now that's going to happen a little more frequently than I would like, uh, but I do end up winning, and I do end up getting less than 10 deaths. So um, th this is the, the one problem with shotguns, is that the range is absolutely terrible. And um, if you see a guy, you pretty much have to get up on him. Now, I will say that uh, since I did this game here, I have been using the Silent Spaz a lot more, and I really, really enjoy it. I've gotten pretty used to, to how it handles, um, you know, what, what type of setup I need to use. And in and, and this particular game, I think what I'm using is uh, Ghost. Uh, I'm using um, Steady Aim and... Ninja, I believe. I'm not 100% positive on that, but uh, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's Ninja. And you see, I'm I'm well in the lead now. Uh, I'm running 12 and 1. I think I end up 30 and 8. And the reason I wanted to bring that to you is because obviously I'm using that silent spaz. So, um, what uh, what you're going to see is uh, when I play free for all, I play a lot differently than when I play uh, a team deathmatch or uh, domination things like that. I don't put down my clay more often. I'm constantly moving. Uh, I'm constantly watching my map to see where I should be going and uh, in what uh, what. Uh, what area I should sit in and obviously right now you'll see in, in that building that's where most people are sitting now um, you're, you're also going to notice that uh, a lot of the time uh, I catch people that are just you know scooting around um, scooting around corners I just happen to catch a glimpse of them and I'm able to sneak up on them and that's how I get a lot of my, a lot of my kills there which I'm fine with I know they're not for instance this here um, you know, in, in any normal situation, there would be another guy that's uh, that's hanging out behind him, just jumping through this window, and I probably would have died. That's that's the benefit of free for all is that the spawns are a little bit different. Generally, you don't have guys running in packs unless they're boosters, uh, and in which case, um, it's even more fun to um, to kill them at that point. So uh, I keep going on my my mini streaks here, and um, unfortunately, I get caught with a uh, with a reload and get blasted now that Tay uh, 22 guy um, I actually end up playing with him the next day too and I just happened to to recognize his name so that, that was a little weird how uh, how I go from free-for-all to to team deathbatch the next morning for for some warm-up games and that dude's still in there too so um, you know, small world and uh, it goes to show you that black ops is starting to wind down a bit in terms of uh, players, who's playing, how they're playing, things like that. So, yeah, that that was not okay. Um, you'll see. Uh, I obviously still have a lot of work to do uh, in terms of my shotgun spraying. Um, um, again, while I win, I don't. Uh, I I don't, or, or I should say, I take some unnecessary deaths. So, uh, for instance, you'll see here. Um, I'm thinking. Okay, this guy that's down there is going to come up here. That must be him. I get the kill. I turn around to go. And sure enough, he's still camping down there. And he's been camping down there the entire game. So um, so what I want to do is... I think I've killed him four or five times. What I want to do is, is try to, to you know, uh, flood him out of there. Either with uh, grenades or smoke or flashbangs or something. Um, but instead, in, instead of trying to go the same path... Um, I turn around, I run this other way, I get a few kills, and uh, I decide I'm going to go 
um, counterclockwise instead of, or I'm sorry, clockwise instead of counterclockwise, and uh, I end up getting blasted here. But look at this respawn right in the dude's face. So that that's an issue um, that that really needs to be fleshed out in Modern Warfare 3 is the spawn system because um, you know stuff like that's not okay. Um, as you see, the game now is about to wind down. I get this last kill, and that's it. Smitty goes 30 and 8 with a shotgun. Mark it down because it will never happen again. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you soon.